Hey guys, uh, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Awaken Keros Hero video, guys. If you want to have access to all the best content for Awaken Keros Hero, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check the bell so you don't miss any video. And also, guys, feel free to smash the like button to show you support the two day channels. So guys, we are back with another beginner guide for this awesome game. And today we're going to be talking about XP Jelly. XP Jelly is probably the resource that you are going to be lacking the most in this game so today we're going to talk about how to optimize the amount you receive with a farming guy guys so it is pretty simple xp jelly how do you acquire that guy is pretty simple either you uh, buy it straight buy it uh, you know credit card or gold shop because sometimes they appear in the gold shop or uh, also you can get it from achievement or you farm it guys and to farm it it's pretty simple if you run a mission uh, any pv mission uh, with a team that is max level or at least one character that is at its current max level well instead of not giving you xp because this character is already max level you will receive xp jelly instead and that xp jelly is going to be very important guys because you're going to need that to uh you know do a bunch of upgrade to promote your uh characters to higher star uh so it's going to be very important so uh this is the base of xp jelly but how can you optimize what you can actually get the the number one way guys is in the shop like i was talking about in this shop the gold shop sometimes i do not have any right now but sometimes you're going to have like 5,000 or 8,000 XP jelly that's available for a little bit of gold. When it is there, guys, jump on it. This is the best. Um, this is the best deal you can have for your gold. Uh, in my opinion, at least for XP jelly, it's very, very, very good. So that is the first place you can buy it. Uh, second place, you can go into uh, the shop, go through all the packages like this one, $29.99, 100000 in that package, for example. It is another way. Also, you do have achievement if you go in your quest. Well, your daily quest too. Daily quest, weekly quest, you're going to have some of them. But in achievement, you have some of the missions that gives you a lot for example here collect 10 legendary will give you 300 000 xp jelly so that kind of stuff uh, can actually give you a lot of xp jelly the more summons you do the more characters you uh you get and the more uh, xp jelly you get from achievement until you reach the max of you the achievement you can get uh you know that xp jelly so those are kind of the a little ways to actually do that now um basic way guys is every single pv mission will give you xp jelly so if you go even in bounty hunt dispatch when you complete the dispatch here it will give you uh xp jelly at least most of the time at least i don't know if it's always but most of the time here you do your your bounty hunt your blitz you are going to be getting xp jelly every time unless you are uh, you know when you clear a new stage unless you already clear uh, the stage is just doing blitz you're just getting gold but any of the dungeon here guys is going to give you xp jelly for you know because you're getting xp for your character so you're going to get xp if your character is max level you're going to get xp jelly instead of getting uh you know instead of getting uh, xp you're getting xp jelly the only place is i think endless trial where you don't get xp jelly but you get you know uh, diamonds uh, gear upgrade kits and all that kind of stuff uh, which is very very useful even in the void tower you're gonna get xp jelly uh from running the mission because you receive xp in that game mode pretty much any game mode that gives you xp gas you are going to be getting xp jelly from those game mode but you can increase the amount you get too by using a xp jelly boost now those xp jelly boosts are a little bit tricky because there is specific place you want to use them if you get your xp jelly boost and use it in void tower uh, you're kind of ruining the xp boost you're not going to get more much xp what you want to do with those xp boost guys you want to use them and go where you get <clears throat> sorry guys apparently my throat is boring me when i'm trying to talk in today's video but uh, anyway you want to go where uh you know the content that will give you the most xp for the energy spent which is going to be adventure mode in adventure mode this is where you're going to be getting the most xp 
But be careful, guys. If you use it in adventure mode and normal mode, you're not going to get that much XP. Technically, you want to go on the higher possible stage you can actually do in adventure mode. If you have Mythic Unlock, this is really where uh, those XP jelly boosts becomes very, very, very useful. And for example, you decide, like we decide now, we're using XP boost. We use one, uh, we have 10 minutes to run adventure mission. So we do adventure mission for 10 minutes and then we're like, okay, we don't want to lose that XP boost because uh, we want to go do other content that does not give that much XP boost. So all you got to do guys is go in bonus and the pause. See here, I active it. Now it's active. Now it's pause. That's all you got to do. Pause your XT, your XP boost, guys. Pause it because it is gonna gonna be a very very important. You don't want to waste that. So only use your XP boost when you're farming adventures. Uh, I recommend to not to use them until you actually unlock uh, mythic. But for some people, gonna be hard to unlock mythic. So my recommendation, if that if you can't unlock mythic yet and you need to have promo characters, use it on hard mode, the highest possible stage you can clear in hard mode. Uh, uh, you know, in a good amount of time. So you want to min max uh, the energy you're spending with the time you're spending on that XP boost pretty much to, uh, you know, get as much XP jelly as possible. And how do you get those XP boosts, guys? It's pretty simple. You go in the shop, diamond shop, you do have the access to a six hour XP boost for 150 crystal or uh, diamonds and you have the access to the 24 hours xp boost and that one if you just run you know if you only activate when you do adventure mission this one could probably last you like a couple weeks technically because you should not be uh maybe even a month because you should not be running adventure mode more than an hour a day you should not have the energy to do so so if you buy the 24 hours guys it's it's not gonna last you uh, it's gonna last you a very very long time and also, guys, if you do not currently have an XP boost, you can all you can always go in your account here, uh, settings, and use a brand new uh, redemption code, guys. You go account here, redemption code, and you enter Ace XP, and you're gonna get for yourself a brand new. Oh, did I? Oh. I forgot. Okay, my bad, guys. It's Ace EXP. There we go. <laughs> and there you go. You receive a boost for free in your inventory. If you active more than one boost at the time, guys, they do stack together. Uh, don't worry about that. Like if I go, we were at one hour, 29 minutes on our boost that we had in inventory. And if we actually go here, use both of them. And we'll go take a look here in our uh, bonus here. You can see we have three hours, 29 minutes of boost available there, which technically for me, should be good for about three to four days. I do about an hour of farming a day uh, to get my XP boost. And you see, when you do XP boost on the highest possible mission, you can do in nice, uh, you know, a, a fast way in the adventure adventure you're gonna get a shit ton of uh xp jelly and that is literally the best way to to get xp jelly it's much better than buying it it's much better than than getting it from any other game mode you want to save a, you know a bunch at least i will say at least 50 percent of your daily what is it uh energy mill coupons mill energy stamina whatever you're gonna save about 50 percent of your daily energy to be spent into adventure mission to actually farm xp jelly if you don't farm xp jelly you're gonna hit a massive roadblock that's gonna keep you from being able to promote uh you know your best characters and you're gonna end up in a spot where you cannot clear content because uh, you cannot make your character stronger, which totally sucks. So very, very important, guys. Farm XP jellies on a daily basis and abuse those XP boosts if you have I mission unlock already. You know, hard mode, I will say uh, at least chapter 8 plus or even better, mythic mode. Uh, even from chapter 1, definitely 
worth uh, you know doing that or just when you're farming your glyph because you're going to be farming glyph through adventure gas use the xp boost at the same time so you can actually get a bunch of xp jelly at the same time and that's pretty much it for xp jelly gas it is very simple very basic but so important the resource you are going to need the most in the game you're going to need like millions and millions to make one characters to six stars so it's going to be very important to farm the crap off of that xp jelly guys if you have any question comment feedback other beginner guys you want to see on the channel guys let me know in the comment section as always guys thank you for watching thank you for being part of my amazing community you all keep enjoying playing awakened chaos era and i will see you guys again in the next video thank you